Hi all, this is just a quick one to show my latest 3D model. It's for 3D printing, for coupling cylindrical parts together. I found myself needing to have these sort of connections mainly in drones to have battery compartments and to model them each time took a while. So this is now a parametric version which should be scalable for your uses. So it comes with the drawing with the definitions of the measurements and this pulls directly from the model. So you can see the idea is that you have locking tabs that go in and then slide together uh, designed from a DSLR style camera and there's clearance angles so there's also a PDF which is much clearer and doesn't change but it's quite a good reference to have up so when you want to actually design something this is a three prong coupler but if you open up the SOLIDWORKS equations you can see here that we have the letters that correspond in the drawing um, to each of the measurements <clears throat> so I'm just going to make a four prong, so I'll make a from three to four prong. So that's locking tabs is four. Because we have four, we also need to change the angle here. And this tab angle, in essence, has got to be if you have a number of locking tabs and double it. So if I want four locking tabs, I need to split the circle into eight. And then it's as, it's as simple as 360 divided by that number. It's 45. So I'll have a little bit less than that to give a bit of clearance between the angles. So then H wants to be 40. Perfect. I'm also going to make sure I is slightly bigger. 4 degrees is fine. This G value. So the difference between the internal diameter F and external diameter D in essence you want to split that into three so the inside radius is a third of that the tabs is a third of that and then the external is a third of that that's not quite true here but it's good enough for a demonstration and then this is your clearance between the two parts so it's going to take a bit of work on your printer to work out what the clearances are but a good starting place is just to use a layer height as clearance. Uh, again here these are just clearance values um, for how big you want the tabs to be so the tabs on both sides are the same and then if you want the height changes so again here you kind of want C should really be half of B so if you make C 7.5 then if we click OK you can see the part updates to have four tabs that looks good the thing with the tabs is sometimes it will not combine into a solid part so you just hold control right click uh, combine add and then it does and then you can see that when we pull up the drawing the drawing then updates to have four tabs uh, with the dimensions that we just chose, 40 degrees, which is nice if you want a reference point. And then again, if you want a large diameter, so say you want F at the moment is 70, say you want a 100 millimeter internal diameter, then F would be 100. Um, D, I'll just make uh, 115. Does that sound good? Yeah. And E, I'll make 5. And there you can see we scale up. Um, oh, that looks funky, doesn't it? So, in essence, what I've got now is that this external part, eight and a half. Oh, yeah, it should be half of 
a third of this because it's a radius. That's what I've done wrong. So that shouldn't be five, that should be 2.5. Let me rebuild that, there we go. Now that looks better. And then we have the OD and ID that we need as parts. So if we save this, uh, or we can either print 3D and then save to file, anything's fine. Um, so it was copy, so I was overwrite that, yeah. Let me pull up, I'll use Prusa Slicer. I'll add the part that we just made. And it comes in as one file, but we can right click, split to objects. Then we get two different parts. If we lay those both flat and arrange them, you can see this one doesn't need support because of the way this is flatten the build plate but this one does so we can do that just right click support material generate yep slice just bring that onto the build plate slightly there we go there we go arrow 45 is a 0.4 mil nozzle height so that's where my clearances came from and then I can just print that and it should, once you have the clearances dialed in, they stay the same between couplers. But apart from that, that's all there is to it.